So last week they announced recurring options for Notion. This week, two big updates. Notion AI was announced as well as the option to change icons for properties, which I was actually really excited about because I love icons. But let's talk today about Notion AI. So Notion AI is a new smart writing assistant tool that Notion just came out with. This was out of left field. No one was expecting this. It was not previously announced. And it isn't surprising because they actually purchased automate.io last year and they actually closed it down and are bringing in probably that team into Notion. So I have a feeling a lot of the engineers that worked on automate.io are now working on uh, this AI program. I'm not super knowledgeable on AI, but I have used other softwares that use AI and I work in content marketing. So for me, I was like, wow, this is a really big deal. Um, I actually did a TikTok last year talking about one of the competitors, Copy AI, which is a very similar tool. Um, I feel like, you know, and that, that video actually is one of the biggest videos I've ever done on TikTok. I had like 300,000 views and it was talking about some different tools out there and Copy AI, so many people commented like, this is such a cool tool. So I can see why Notion wanted to go after that market. So today I'm gonna to be walking through, I am in the Notion Ambassador program, so I applied to get this access early, so I have it. So I wanna show it to you guys, I'm allowed to share it. They told us that that was totally fine. So I just wanted to show you guys a little bit about Notion AI, what you can use it for. I'm definitely going to, at some point, make a list of ideas for uses, because I think that's really the biggest thing that people were, might be like, wait, what can I even use this for? I feel like they have some great options, but I feel like there's gonna be even more down the road that I personally will use it for beyond the ones that they recommend. So let's just head to my computer and show you guys Notion AI. Make sure to subscribe below. Make sure to check out my brand new course, Notion Foundations, and join our Facebook groups. Okay, so the first thing that you're gonna do, and let's just head over there, is go to notion.so forward slash AI. This actually currently, as of the recording of this video, is how you actually apply for this program. So let's just head over there real quick. Um, I got to sign up with a different form because I'm in the ambassador program, but this is kind of a walkthrough of that, what that looks like. So you can see, you can write a blog post, you can, you know, saves time, write faster. These are just some of the ideas, you know, brainstorm, help me write, continue writing. So these are the different, the different options. You can also have editing. Wow. That's going to be really challenging things like Grammarly translation. That's going to be super cool. So there's a wait list right now. I did get access though. So I did want to show it to you guys just kind of, this is an alpha right now. And I just wanted to show you guys specifically how it works. So in order to, to set it up, you have to go to once you apply, you go to settings and then go to where it says plans. And then you just turn on enable Notion AI. So even those within the Notion ambassador program, that's how you set it up. So you'll see on a new page now, instead of just having this here, they used to have it where it was like, right, you know, empty page. Now they have this option draft with AI assist. And these are the options that they have. Now, this is not the only things that they do. You can do a lot of things. One of the things that I think would be really helpful and, and one that I don't see on here is like YouTube channel, um, headlines or titles or things that would be good, you know, starting out points. I've used headline generators before, and I, I'm, I'm pretty sure that you can do that on here, but I think for a lot of people, this is a good starting point. I want to, I want to clarify to everyone that just because something writes something for you doesn't mean that that's the full thing. This is a good starting point. You'll see here things like outlines, emails, things that are a good place to start, especially if you have a blank page, because right, that's that's the thing about writing is having a blank page can be kind of overwhelming. It's a little bit easier to edit something. So let's just play around with this. And one of the things that I did was I actually made a TikTok about this. So if I just click down here, I'm just going to just do empty page. I'm just gonna show this as an example. Now, if you do the forward slash, it also pops up right here. So I'm going to choose, so they've got like a bunch of different options here as well. So I'm going to do help me write. And it says, what would you like to write about? I'm going to write sales page for Notion online. So I actually just came out with my course this week and I had to write a sales page. I have gone through sales page training, so I know a lot more about that, but I'm just curious what will happen. So if I click generate, it's actually going to write out a sales page for me. Like this is really great. Like this is a short one. You could do try again. You can keep, you can discard and let's just discard and try it again. Let, let's be a little bit more descriptive. Let's do a notion sales page with five main points about why 
you should buy a Notion online course sales page. Okay, let's just try that. So this is points, right? These are your bullet points. Wow, that's <laughs> that's really cool. I'm like, this is kind of crazy. So that let's just do something completely different. Let's talk about uh, intermittent fasting, right? Help me write blog post about intermittent fasting, right? I think that's how you spell it. Sharing pros and cons. Let's just see. Wow. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's crazy. Oh my God. Like it's crazy. Like you, okay. This is going to be interesting for college students doing writing. Also interesting for professional copywriters. But for those of us who like, I am not a writer. Like, like that's not something I do. Like I do it because I have to for marketing, but it's not something that I personally spend a lot of time doing and enjoy doing super like a lot but I do it a lot because I have to, because of social media. Let's do an Instagram, let's do an Instagram caption, right? Instagram caption about my trip. Let's just, let's just, <laughs> I just wanted to put like as little information as possible and see what happens. My trip to Italy is amazing. Okay, so this is really short. So some of these are, are really like, yeah. I think this is interesting because I feel like sometimes with copywriting and with writing content, you have to write a lot. So this is a good like starting point. Like that's a really short caption for Instagram. Sometimes, you know, you want to have a full thing, but let's just do, let's just do something else. Let's try, um, brainstorm ideas. Let's type in creative YouTube titles for video on creating a notion course. Let's just, I just want to see what happens. So, oh wow. They've got like a ton of ideas. Wow. This is so cool. <laughs> I mean, for marketers, this is going to be really helpful for people that are small business owners. This is going to be really helpful. This is going to be really helpful for a lot of people that have to write content on, on a consistent basis. A creative story, to-do list. Let's just try to-do list. Let's just do a starting a blog. I just want to see what happens if I just click that. Wow. Okay. This is like starting to freak me out a little bit. This is just so cool. Okay. Let's just do like press release. Um, I actually, I'm going to be writing a press release, press release about, I'm actually going to be doing something. I'm just curious, like what will happen? Wow. I mean, okay. A press release needs to be longer than this, but Wow, that's still super cool. Wow. I mean, obviously I have to change this because this isn't accurate, but again, really cool. Do a job description. Let's do marketing consultant for entrepreneurs. I'm just, again, I'm putting like as little information as I can and just see what happens. Wow. Oh my gosh. This is, <laughs> this is so cool. Oh my God. This is awesome. Okay. Yeah. Let me know in the comments. I can do some more and maybe in my Facebook group, I'll do more. If you guys just want to see it, if you don't have access, but this is going to be game changing. Honestly, this is going to be game changing for writing. This is going to be game changing for a lot of different things. And I'm not sure. I think as of now it's free included inside of notion. I'm not sure if there's going to be a cost in the future. Cause some of these platforms, I know copy AI is not like, like not super expensive free as well. Let me look and see what the pricing is. Yeah. It's like $50 a month. So this is, I, I would be shocked if this was free. I think I'm, I'm curious if it's going to be like an additional fee. It's going to have to bring money into notion. I do think it's going to bring in more users for sure. And that's kind of their goal is this is going to bring in kind of a new market. It's actually very interesting that they're going this route instead of putting out automations first, like with automate.io. Anyways, so let me know what you think of this. And this is a crazy just walkthrough. And I'm, I'm super excited to see what continues happening with this.